questions, asking her like where and when and why did you start doing such incredible like baba boom kind of makeups. And the answer is very, very simple. This video, this video right here, this video, the queen, the goddess herself, Nikki Tutorials. The power of makeups was just like that moment in my life where I was just like, huh, makeups is art. So peel off, of course, like played with makeup. She dabbled in makeups, tipped her toe into the makeups when she was younger, but like she always looked busted. But after seeing that video, I was like inspired. It was like all of the light bulb moments were happening in my head and it was just like, oh my gosh, this is art form. Peel off wants to be canvas. Peel off wants to be like the Vincent van Gogh of makeups, just all of the things. So because of this, because of this video, because of this incredible like goddess of a human being, like because of this incredible goddess, peel off started doing the makeup. So because Pilof is just in such a like mm, kind of mood. I really want to celebrate this human being and also take a trip down memory lane and just like have a fun time with the makeups, yes? Let's keep this short and sweet. Don't forget like, comment, subscribe, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that kind of dumb stuff, yes? And without further ado, let us get on to the makeups. So first step for today's video is to put some tape on my face. That way I get a good crisp line, like a good crisp liner, except like so that you can see like the half half kind of thing going on. <laughs> How am I supposed to talk like this? Okay, no to the tape. Oh, that hurt. Okay, so actual first step because tape is trash. Okay, so first step is to get my skin stick and my foundation and give the left half of my face just oh, a good, pure, just mm, kind of canvas. Just like, oh, just a, oh, just a lot of, lot of like, what kind of sounds because like peel off, peel off is not too good at the vocabularizing. So like sometimes it is just better just to like, instead of give like an actual, an actual descriptive word. An adjective, if you are ever so literate. And I just put her everywhere. Apparently that includes my eyebrows today. And I know what some of you are thinking. Peel off. Left eye is always the pesky baby cakes, the little goblin baby cakes that never wants to agree with right eye. But the thing is, is that I have roasted left eye's existence for so long that the reason she is probably being a pesky little baby cakes and wanting everything to go wrong for me is because I consistently tell her how trash she is. <laughs> so maybe the reason she's being trash now is because she's like, well, you keep calling me trash, you want me to be trash, so therefore I will be trash. At this point, I look like a naked mole rat. Like there is no definition to my face, there is nothing, it's just like, it is just, just a fart. It is a fart on my face. It's a fart on my face. So now it's time to go with the pretty colors. I am going to go in today with my two favorite baby cakes. My Jawbreaker palette and my, oh, should I seal my sister's long lost palette? A few moments later. <laughs> Sister thought that she could hide it in her soft draw. Guess who found the palette? Guess who found the blood sugar? Guess who found the palette? Think that you can hide makeups from me? I'm like a makeups bloodhound. I can sneak. I can smell when there's makeups around. Ah, okay, so I'm just going to be stealing my sister's bloodless palette because we are sisters. What else did I do? I am just going to use the soft, the finer to really pick on this prick color because I really, really want just like a true red on my eye today. I just want true. I just want true red. Sister, why did you think that you could hide this from me? Why did you think that Peel Off was not going to this out. I just... Also, it doesn't even look like you have used this palette. All of my palettes have just been trashed beyond recognition, and yours just looks so pristine, which, like, I love it. Don't get me wrong. But, like, have you really loved a palette unless, like, there is color everywhere? When you love something enough, it kind of gets ruined. And then while I'm here, I'm just going to get my smudge brush and also put that on the bottom lash line because, like, I want to have the most vibrant left side of my face. Actually, while I'm also here... Let us just use a bit of the tongue pop and a bit of the a bit of the prick. Let us do our blush already. I want this to be like the eye is almost tied into the cheek kind of look. I just want it to be like kind of monochromatic kind of situation. I just want people to look at this and be like, oh, I'm in love. I'm in love with the makeup goddess, which like I don't understand how you wouldn't be already, but like I guess people have different tastes. Some people like my voice, some people don't like my voice. Some people like the whoop kind of personality and some people don't. That is why I like to go in kind of a wave situation. Sometimes it's like, 
and sometimes it is just like hello how are you today beautiful i hope you are doing pleasantly i hope that you are feeling fantastic i hope that you are doing great so now that we have done free i'm just going to go in with some cherry soda and i'm just going to start darkening up like little bits and pieces so i like to start with like my base color and then i just gradually get darker and darker and darker like through all the colors the best thing about mr star palettes is the fact that like there's always dark versions and light versions of like every color which is excellent for me because it means that like you can start building up the depth like some parts you can make a little bit lighter because you just use a lighter version of the color i really hope that how i'm trying to explain this actually makes sense but also like i am not a woman of words i'm a woman of sound effects i'm a woman of intense caffeine addiction and energy levels and then just get some fresh meat going with the next dark color and then just start darkening her up a bit more like you cannot construct a building without the foundations first and then the concrete and the bricks and all that kind of stuff it takes a lot of things to build a house but also houses are so like are so like basic i want to build a skyscraper and then we go in with some ex extraction going with some extraction just to darken her up even more we want a lot of depth with this look I really hope that Nikki tutorials like sees this video in the way of like oh my gosh you can see how much I love and appreciate you and like how much I like dedicate like a lot of my like growth as a human being to you but also I don't want her to see this because she's going to be like did she learn nothing from my video I'm now extremely happy with the blending at the moment you got that you got that <laughs> Makeup just makes me happy. The reason why I'm doing this video is because like I never would have known how much happiness it would have brought me if it wasn't for Nikki Tutorials. If it wasn't for the goddess herself. If it wasn't for that, that video which like went viral. It was a defining moment in my life. And like I, th I think it's weird to be like oh that, that one video was like a defining moment in my life. But at the same time it is truth. Like I, I watched that video and I think to myself like wow that looks like fun. Maybe I should try it out. Maybe I should start being a little bit creative, a little bit crazy with it. And I started being a little bit creative and a little bit crazy. And then all of a sudden, like, I started getting more confident. I started having a lot of fun. Like, if I ever had a bad day, I would just sit down and put on some makeups. And then all of a sudden, like, the day wasn't as bad anymore. And then eventually, I was so confident that, like, I just, I started, like, doing TikTok videos. And then that just went, like, oh, and I was like, oh, what the hell is happening there? And then that went, like, oh, and then, like, I brought it over to here. And then, like, I am here. And, like, I have a plaque. And like I just I don't I don't understand my life sometimes but I feel as though that was that was like the first little domino for me that got me to like today okay but now that I've had that little emotion uh savor it because it doesn't happen often but now that the matte shadows are on and our eyes and our faces starting to look ever so beautiful and framed I'm just going to go in with a cut crease I love a good cut crease the way that I do a cut crease is I look down upon my enemies because I have smudgy eyes and I just dab it on at first and then I do the line after, but I follow like the natural curve of my eye first. And then depending on how ooh, frisky I am feeling, I will go a little bit outer. So because the main point of this video is to show how much makeups can transform a face, I will probably be going a little bit out of the lines. Cut crease is now sharp, I'm ready to cut someone. Just bring down the enemies, burn their houses down. So now that the cut crease is looking, I'm going to go on with the shimmer shade. So the ones that like took my breath away when it came to the swatches was definitely the blood sugar and then the donor color, that gold. That gold gave me an existential crisis. I just, I, I questioned my whole entire existence when I used that shade. So I'm going to put the blood sugar on like the outer section first and then flip the brush over and then put on the donor because I am a messy little goblin. And why make more effort for yourself later when it comes to cleaning when you can just flip over a brush? Like I know so many people that do that with underwear. I don't because like I do not want diseases, but like I have a lot of friends that do. I do really like question if they are okay. I want people to like zoom in on this cut crease and just be like, how in the actual high heavens did she manage that? And maybe like, oh, I am actually magic. In Harry Potter, you have a Veda Kedavra. In my house, you have Makeupius Applicationus. Boom! And then just get the same brushy and then just dip into that beautiful sea of gold. I want heavy metal poisoning today, please. Oh, ask and you shall receive, yes! And now that the glitter is on, we are just going to do like a makeup tangle between the glitters and the darkest shade that we use. So I have this petite, petite crease, ah! Petite crease brush.
brush to like do the like matte side and then the like flat smoky shade or brush to do like the glitter side so we are just going to get the darkest shade and we are just going to try and blend it in blend it in and then if we need more glitters we just put that back on put that back on and then we spend about like 20 minutes just doing this little step just to make sure that everything is blended to perfection now that the cut crease is both sharp and beautifully blended to perfection I just ran her through like one of the new tree blows and just went like ah! So I'm just going to get my like makeup's revolution like set the tone highlighter Oh I set the tone! Oh I did so good Okay so I'm just going to like highlight inner corner and then like brow bone Like the typical things yes? Oh she is looking good P. Love is looking stunning P. Love is looking magnificent I'm really going to disappoint some people right now But because I really want like a soft kind of like Like red like kind of moment with the like kind of eyeshadow I am not doing liner please don't hurt me I think it will do an injustice to the vibe and the makeup that I'm trying to do so please 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 forgive me love so because of that I'm not going to do eyeliner instead I'm just going to go on straight with the lashes so I'm going to grab my guillotine and also a new mascara because my brother my pesky brother like when he did my makeups grabbed the thing went like so like bacteria no thank you we we do not I drop it on the floor. <sighs> we do not want bacteria going onto our eyes. So, to do my lashes, because I have so many lashes, I do the guillotine first and then I do the mascaras. Just to give the feathers a good like base to cling to. <sighs> Just to give it a good like Ooh! kind of moment. It does not feel dry and crusty dusty. My old one felt very crusty and very dusty. Very crusty the clown. Lashes are now prepared, which means that I get to go in with the eye feathers. Eye feathers are one of my favorites. I'm just going to get them on my pinchy boys, which are naturally flamingo, and then I. Ooh, whoop, there it is. I'm going to get them on my pinchy boys, which are naturally flamingo, and then I'm going to get my eyelash glue, wait for it to get a cute blue hue, and then just them onto like my skin, but like close enough to my lashes that they kind of blend. I am not really good at the instructionies when it comes to like how to like do like liner and and eye feathers because I just kind of do them and hope for best sometimes it works out sometimes it does not but I know that the one thing that does not work out when it comes to doing the eye feathers is my patience because this is going to take so freaking long but at least I'm only doing one eye today but also I want to cause myself some more pain so I think I'm also doing bottom lashes as well because like why not I want to go for extravagance so let's have a party not a simple party like a great Gatsby kind of party one with like the fountains and the ladies just like diving like in and out wait no out and in with the champagne just kind of everywhere and the diamonds and the pearls and the like doo -doo 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 -doo. that's circus music great Gatsby did not have circus music I cannot tell if I've had enough or not enough caffeine I tried to really get the, the slurpy sound It just created so much air in my esophagus That was uncomfortable I'm impatient, I don't care Okay, so we are just going to We're onto my eyes Let's go for like the middle-ish first And then I just kind of pinch them together Just to give them a bit of blending You can also use a guillotine for that But like my eye feathers are always on a On a side of like Whoa! And too much for my guillotine to really handle Get the arm workout. Get the little flabby arms working. Come on, bad boy! Just because we're in lockdown does not mean we cannot move it, move it! Perfect! Okay, next one! These little tiny under eye feathers are so frustrating, but at the same time, so good! Right eye is just like, I want to join the party, and left eye is just like, hello! I'm the party! Now that eye feathers are done, it is time to go in with a brow. And I'm still going to go in with my cute Cara Delevingne-esque fluffy duffy brow. But I'm going to try my hardest to give that, that flick at the end. Just the sharpest flick of its life. Ooh, yes! Give me that arch! Give me the curves that only my scoliosis knows. And then because the little jelly, like little compact thing over there is starting to run out. I'll just use some hairspray. Does the same thing. Stickies up my hair. So therefore, it can sticky up my brows today. Versatile queen. Brows now sharp and fluffy duffy, so it is time to go in with the contour. So I've already done a bit of a contour with the like ready kind of blush situation going on. So it is just going to be a light little like donut dust. Oh, now I want donut. Wait, brother bought cookies! Peel off is happy. This is, this is good choice. This is good. <laughs> Peel off finally has a cookie to eat for camera. Jeez, this is a good day! Light contour with my Maki Mark. It's very hard to do whilst I'm 
whilst I'm chewing though. And then from my nose, a cute little flick. And then to bring all of the colors together, I'm just going to go over my nose contour with some of the like ready shades. And also just give a bit more of a whoop. And also just a teeny bit on my little butt chin. Contour. Now that the shapes are back in my face, we're just going to do a quick little dusting of highlighter because you cannot go outside without a cheekbone that really blinds someone. Oh, yes, thank you! And then for the lips, we are just going to do a duck face. And only chef. And then for our nose, we are just going to do a cute little doo -doo. Cute little boop boop. So for the lips, of course, I'm going to go in with the red, but I'm thinking today I'm going to try and do like a bit of an ombre-ish effect. That way I get like the good shape that I really, really want. So I'm going to do like this NYX uh, Copenhagen lipstick on the outside and then the like Andrew lipstick from the Conspiracy Collection. I'm just going to put the Copenhagen on the back of my hand so that that way I can, I can use a brush instead to apply into the places that I want it to be in. I don't actually have a lip brush, but I have this tiny little precision brush, so I guess I'm just going to use that, and I'm going to be very, very quiet as I put this on. And I'm also going to try and get the middle line. They are a little bit bigger than usual, which is what I wanted, but they're not so big that they look like drag-tastic, if that makes sense. Not that that is problem. I want this to look still wearable for the adventures okay and then we're just going to put on the angel lipstick and then just blend everything together <laughs> we are done we are done okay so this is this is this is the <laughs> this like left half of my face i don't think my sister owns this palette anymore this is mine i claim it i will urinate on it so that people know that this is mine left half of my face looks phenomenal just like she looks she looks phenomenal like i like the right half of my face like i do like i like how i naturally look like please never think that i don't like i do like how i naturally look but i like the like art that i put like i like to make i like pretty colors i like painting i like scratching my face with pretty colors i love this look i just i love the monochromatics i love the touch of god i just i love all of it i love all of it but oh okay but okay so because our eyes are looking what our contour looking what our lips looking what and everything just looking a beautiful shade of red. The color of love, the color of my blood when my sister finds out that I have stolen this palette from her. But because five years ago, Baby Pilaf watched a video by the Goddess Sneaky tutorial, she was inspired to start doing makeups as an art, start doing makeups as fun, not because of self-consciousnesses. Because she was inspired to do makeups for that reason and love herself, and because of that video, and because of Nikki's tutorials, and because all of this makeup is now on the left half of our face and it is looking stunning, Never shape, point, and form, and because Pilaf is a legitimate beauty goddess on YouTube, so there's only one thing left to do, and that is a sexy, a slow nose. Boom. <laughs> okay, but now that sexy slow mores are done, that is it for today's video. I just hate saying goodbye. It's, it's always the saddest part of videos. Like, it's, it's good because it means that, like, I can go and edit. And I can also start working on other videos. But it means that I have to say goodbye for the moment. And, like, that is just always sad and just, like, pfft, emotions and inconvenience. And I just don't like saying goodbye because all of you are so wonderful. So, like, I don't want to have to say goodbye. But before I do say goodbye, I do want to say a really big thank you to a lot of people. Whether you have been here for, like, a day or you have been here for the three years that I have been on been on YouTube. I just want to say thank you for watching my videos, standing by me, supporting me, loving me, and watching me grow as a creator and a human being, and just see my confidence go from like absolutely nothing to like today, where I am I'm I'm quite happy with the human being that I am becoming. Like she's she's quite fun to be around. I'm not going to lie, but I just wanted to say a huge, huge, huge thank you, many virtual hugs, much love to everyone who does do who does watch my videos and does support because. I, I just I couldn't be here without every single one of you and I want you to go to the mirror and hype yourself up and play this clip right in front of you right now you are fantastic you are amazing you are loved you have worth you are incredible in every shape way and form and if anyone if anybody says otherwise people will fight them I will I'm not a very like I'm not a coordinated person I'm nothing but I will fight them for you because how dare they not understand the magnificence that you are because you are what you are whoa, 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 whoa. you're my baby cakes you're my baby cakes and I think you are stunning in every shape way and form so just I want you I want you all to know that 
You were amazing in every shape, way, and form. And I, I could not be a luckier human being. And then a quick break from peel off and just even though you have no idea I exist in Nikki's tutorials I just wanted to say a huge thank you for uh, just being a constant inspiration if it wasn't for the power of makeup I would have kept doing makeup in a way where it covered my insecurities in a way where I used it as a mask rather than a creative outlet in a way where makeup had no meaning except for hiding myself whereas now it's just a way for me to express myself, which is the healthiest thing I have. My creativity and like the things that I make and my art is like everything to me. And without that specific video, I don't think I would have done makeup the same way. If it wasn't for that video, I definitely wouldn't be making this video. I definitely wouldn't be doing makeup the way that I do. I wouldn't be as happy as I am. I wouldn't be as confident as I am. I just wouldn't be where I am today without that video, which is really, really odd for me to say out loud because it was, it was, it was literally just that one video that light bulb moment in my brain so huge thank you and um just a lot of appreciation and admiration and respect but either way back to peel off no matter how your makeup is you just need to know no matter what you are stunning you are magnificent you are intelligent you are beautiful inside and out you are just stunning and magnificent and just incredible in every shape way and form Peel off cannot even handle it sometimes because she just thinks and like thinks about how incredible you are and she's just like i just you need to go out into the world and show them how incredible you are, how stunning you are, how magnificent you are. Because these people, people outside, like people in the world, except like this is spiritually at the bottom with everything that's happening in the world, yes? But you still need to go out into the world and show them that because everyone in the world needs to have that kind of peel off moment. Because their lives are incomplete, obsolete, doodle, -doo, if they do not have that in their life. So go out into the world, show them how fearless, how stunning you are. And while you are out there, do not forget what your mother always say. If you can't say something nice, say something cruel.